I remember when I started practicing witchcraft, I was very curious about it. I saw it as a means to have power in a powerless world. And I was curious about some things and I remember getting books about spells and going into the New Age store, purchasing bundles of sage and crystals and all of the things that I would do to cast spells, love spells and uh, how to bind people to me, all of these things. I got into it um, in a very innocent type of way, thinking that it was just nature and it was just, you know, trees and plants and energies. But I'm telling you, it took a turn for the worst. I got into it innocently, but I left literally almost terrified. Um, I had such a fear that gripped my life, it crippled me. The next thing that I knew, I was seeing things, hearing things. I was being tortured by demonic spirits that had come in through the use of witchcraft. I would hear scratching on the walls. I would hear tapping. I would see images and shadows and spirits in the house that I was living in. I remember um, glass busting over my head and literal pieces of glass falling all over me as I was walking through my house. Um, it was a very scary time. I was tortured. I didn't even want to close my eyes to wash my face. That's how terrified I was. I didn't want to get out of the bed to even go use the restroom at night. And I remember just saying, I'm done with it all. If you think that it's innocent, I'm telling you, it will take you down a road you do not want to go down. And I had to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me. And if you're watching this, I don't believe it's by mistake. I believe that the Lord has allowed you to see this video, to speak to your heart, to give you a chance to really cry out to him. You know, it's hard to see it from the side of practicing witchcraft, but hear me when I tell you. I've come out of it and I'm living for God now. He's turned my whole life around. I have freedom. I have joy. I've been restored in ways I could never imagine. And so if you're on here and you are practicing witchcraft or you've dabbled in it or you're thinking, oh, I just have a few healing crystals or I'm just reading my horoscope or I'm just, you know, burning sage, you are practicing witchcraft in that. And I'm asking you today, give your heart to Jesus. Let me know. Hit me up in a private message. I will talk with you. I will pray with you. But it's time to give your life to Christ. He's the only way.